Welcome, everybody, to this week's uh, Edmonton Friday Fact, Fiction, and Fuzzy. I'm your host, Kevin Gallman, with my other host, Jason Eggert. Today, we are pleased to welcome Faith Cole. Faith is the director of MTSS at Oak Park, District 97. Uh, she is a lifelong resident of Oak Park, has uh, taught in the district, was a principal in the district, and now the MTSS coordinator. So we're really thrilled to have her here today. Welcome, Faith. Hey, thanks so much for having me. Like I said, you guys, I am honored to be here. You've had a lot of distinguished guests, and so I'm, I feel very privileged. So thank you for having me. Well, thanks. Thanks again for joining us. Uh, let's dive right in. What's uh, what's a fact right now that, that we're, you're seeing uh, in this environment? So I would say a fact. So Oak Park um, is right outside of Chicago. And so one of the things that I know to be true to my heart is that Oak Park is a place that you want to live, a place that you want to work, and really a place that you want to be. Um, and I feel like it offers so much incredible things to families here. But one of the things I think I've noticed is during the pandemic is the level of accountability that our community respects, you know, expects from us. And so feedback can be hard. I mean, it can be hard to receive it. Um, and sometimes when people are worried or upset, don't always deliver it in the most effective ways. But I am grateful that throughout, you know, particularly this last year, we've gotten so much um, corrective feedback. We've gotten so much um, positive feedback that really allows us to kind of morph what we're doing to make sure we're offering the families um, whatever they need at that right, right at that right time. Interesting how we always look for feedback from students and it just kind of just moves up the ladder, right? It's, it's always, always good to see that. Mm -hmm. what's, a, uh, what's, what's a fiction that you've seen during this time? You know, I think one of the things that became really obvious, um, I think for a community, but me in particular, when we went remote back in March is that kind of how we define student engagement. And so we define student engagement as, you know, a child who's within a classroom, you know, kind of paying attention to the teacher, you know, maybe taking notes. And so when we were kind of catapulted into this remote environment, now we have so many other competing priorities. So we have things that might be going on at home, you know, even some of the students' basic needs aren't being met. And so engagement and how we kind of framed it changed dramatically. And so how are we making sure we don't visually see students, we don't have some of that feedback that we've had in the past to make sure students are engaged. And I think that was probably something that we assume that, well, we just have students in our space, that's gonna be good enough and somehow they're just gonna learn. And we realized very quickly that that's not gonna happen. Um, and we have to be even more so thoughtful and deliberate about that, particularly as we engage students and really try to build relationships with them. So that's meaningful. So that again, when your basic needs aren't being met, it can be incredibly difficult to take part in education. And so making sure that we understand what our students need. And a lot of that can only be determined once we really know who our students are and who their families are. So it takes a lot of work up front, but that was something I think particularly we noticed that we can't just expect students to be engaged just because they're the teachers. Love that Faith, that work up front then pays off in the end. Absolutely. Faith, last one, fuzzy could be something that has made you proud, something that made you smile, something that made you happy, um, but it, you know, and or could be something that's still unclear. That's a good question. Well, the fuzzy, I love wearing yoga pants almost every day, um, even at work, <laughs> just kidding. I think there's been so many unsung heroes during this time, um, particularly in Oak Park. And so I think one of the things that more recently was kind of brought to my attention that really got me excited is that we have 10 uh, nurses throughout our district. So one at each of our schools, and they've all been certified um, to give the COVID vaccination. And so what they've done on their own time, after school, on the weekends, is provide the service to our Oak Park community. And I think to myself, there are so many people that are working kind of behind the scenes, because it truly has taken a community. So whether that is our food pantries, whether that is our teacher's assistants, our custodial staff, our families, I mean, everybody understands what it takes to keep this, you know, Oak Park running. And I feel like people haven't, you know, whatever it takes. So if that means, you know, giving money, if that means supporting a cause, people continue to do that. And I feel like even more so, people have really rallied, I think, during this time. And just the realness that people have shown, the level of empathy, because now, you know, people are zooming into people's homes, they're zooming into their spaces. So it's funny, like when a cat walks past the screen or a child screaming in the background, or, you, you know, or a dog decides to sit on your lap, all those things I think really have humanized our teachers, but also our students and our families to know that we all kind of want the same thing, even though it's a scary time, we're gonna get through this together. Truly going through things, everybody going through the same things together. And like you said, it allows, when, once you see that, then it allows people to connect even that much uh, deeper. And it's great to hear, Faith, all the wonderful things, uh, people stepping up uh, in the community to give back in a, in a wide variety of ways. So Faith, that's phenomenal. Lots to be proud of there 
in Oak Park. She is Faith Cole. She is the director of MTSS for Oak Park District 97. If you don't already follow her on Twitter, please make sure that you do. She's an excellent follow at Faith Cole 42. Faith, uh, we really want to thank you again for joining us here today on Friday Fact, Fiction, and Fuzzy. Uh, folks out there, if you haven't already, please make sure that you uh, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Faith, thanks again uh, thank for your you time so much, today. Guys. Take care. Thanks.